Hey everyone, new products from Hourglass today. I have one of them on and I will show you the other one in a few hours. This powder is fantastic. I was uh, just not expecting just too, too much out of this powder, but I love it. It is the Translucent Veil Setting Powder. It comes in a very flat little canister like this. And it has a very unique sort of delivery system in the top. Really, really cool. I wasn't expecting a whole lot out of this. I thought, it well, it's just going to be another setting powder. But Hourglass has such fantastic products. They really know powders. They really know how to make powders very light, very shimmery, very ethereal. Their skin makeup is just to die for. So when I started looking into this powder and examining it, I was amazed. This is a kind of a unique deal here. You have this really neat pan with the H on it, and that's what your powder sort of dispenses into. Here's the lid. What I've been doing is putting the lid on, not quite screwing it down all the way, holding it in place, dumping this upside down, and then standing it back up, and then you have some powder in there that you can work with. I love this dish, this little curved dish that you can just dip your brush into. It's so convenient. It is a translucent powder. And what is good is I have found it does not add any color. A lot of times even translucent powders will add color to my foundation and to my skin. This does not add any color. It has a beautiful, very faint, luminous sheen to it. If you can see that, it is not super matte. It is very luminous and illuminating. No color added on this. Beautiful packaging. I love that dish. Just a really light ethereal setting powder. I've also been using it to buff. Buffing is making a difference in how my finished makeup looks. It's a way of using a finishing powder to sort of buff all of your lines out of any of your cheek products or anything like that and make everything just appear very luminous and even and smooth, very smooth. So you can use this setting powder as a buffing powder as well. There's no pore filling on this. There's no line emphasizing going on with this powder. It is just too light for that. So here's how it applied to my skin today. I'm going to take my beautiful new Real Techniques powder brush and I'm just gonna dip into this and I'm going to start putting it on as a setting powder. I have already done my under eye with my wonderful Becca, my newly rediscovered Becca um, bright, under eye brightening powder and I really think that makes a difference. I have not yet tried to set under my eyes with this hourglass powder and then I'm just going to sort of pat this into place. This stuff is just, um, it's just so light and just faintly luminous. Can you see sort of the shine that this powder gives you? I can especially see it right through here and it is not looking matte or dry. Something I've been trying lately is something that's called buffing, um, and that is where, when you've got all of your complexion done, you take a little bit of a slightly glimmery, shimmery powder and sort of buff around your face with that, and it sort of finishes it. It's a sort of, you take a finishing powder and you sort of finish everything off. This powder is really good for that because it is a tiny, tiny bit shiny, not shiny, it's just luminous. You want a nice luminous powder for this. I just put a little bit on that same brush. And I start down here and I just do my cheeks and I do my forehead. And that just sort of gives a finished blended glow to the cheek. If there's any, any, any slightest harsh line, in any of your cheek or your your bronzer or any of that, that blending is going to take it out and blur it and it just makes the whole thing look just really finished and done. I love the subtle glow on this powder. That's what I really like about it. You can use it to buff and um, set your makeup as well as buff in and give you sort of that finished powder glow. The other product from Hourglass that is amazing me and 
it you wouldn't think it would but this is a really neat product this is the veil retouching fluid this comes in several different shades and i got the color called fair i think that is the lightest one that they make i think the color match on this is perfect so what an unusual and kind of strange little product this is so with this you can apply of course to bare skin if you want just an overall glow it's kind of like a tinted moisturizer, a skin tint. It's not a moisturizer, but you know what I mean. It's a glow giving sort of layer that you can put on. You can definitely put it on bare skin if that's how you want to be, if you want to be very natural. But what I think this is really good for and what I've been using it for is to retouch your makeup after several hours where your makeup is starting to look heavy, dry, and caked up. And so for that purpose, it is fantastic, especially in the under eyes. I'm going to come back in several hours when my makeup is starting to get kind of dry, kind of thick in places, kind of looks tired, and I'm going to retouch with this and show you the difference it makes, especially under the eyes. Okay, we're back several hours hours later it's the end of the day and I'm going to show you how great this veil retouching fluid really does especially under the eyes after many hours in makeup your under eye gets very dry looking sort of cakey it's your concealer especially when you're using like shape tape or something like that you can get to be looking really puckered and dry under there so I'm going to apply this hourglass product and it is so nice but all I do is pat a little right through here and I just sort of pat it around. It's kind of like a very thin, illuminating um, foundation. And it, it looks hydrated, looks more hydrated. It sort of provides a little bit of cover and it's subtle, but can you see? It just looks a little more awake, a little more radiant under there. A little bit less dry a little bit less wrinkly through there and you can put it anywhere else on your face that you may need to sort of retouch it has just a subtle sort of glow like a, um, a shine a sheen not really glittery or glimmery or anything like that so I really like it it's a little extra it's it's not in your standard arsenal sort of it's sort of a little extra just to go the extra mile to get a little bit more brightening when you um, your makeup's been on for a while I really like these products from Hourglass. Man, I love that powder. I love that powder. It's beautiful. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.